Welcome to Fact Fusion Network, where we break down the fascinating world of science and technology. Have you ever wondered about the science behind the products you use every day? From the cleaning agents in your kitchen to the toiletries in your bathroom, chemistry is at work in ways you might not expect. In today's video, we'll dive into the chemistry of everyday life, explaining the household chemicals that keep our homes clean, our bodies fresh, and our lives functioning smoothly. Let's get started. Section 1. Cleaning Agents. First up, let's talk about cleaning agents. Have you ever thought about what's inside that bottle of all-purpose cleaner? Most cleaning products contain a combination of surfactants, solvents, and sometimes abrasives or disinfectants. But what does that mean? Surfactants are molecules that have two distinct ends, a hydrophobic tail that repels water and a hydrophilic head that attracts water. When you spray a cleaner on a greasy surface, the hydrophobic tails latch onto the grease while the hydrophilic heads stay in the water, allowing you to rinse the grease away. Solvents like water, alcohol, or even ammonia help dissolve dirt and stains, making it easier for surfactants to do their job. That's why your kitchen and bathroom surfaces shine after a good scrub. Section 2. Soap and Detergents. Next, let's take a closer look at soap and detergents. Both are designed to remove dirt, but they work in slightly different ways. Soap is made through a process called saponification, where fats or oils react with an alkali, like sodium hydroxide, to produce soap and glycerin. The soap molecules have similar properties to surfactants, with one end that bonds with water and the other with oil. This allows the soap to lift dirt and oils off your skin or clothes and wash them away. Detergents, on the other hand, are synthetic and can work in both hard and soft water, which makes them more effective in a variety of conditions. That's why you'll often find detergents used in laundry and dishwashing products. Section 3. Baking Soda and Vinegar. Now, let's talk about some natural cleaning powerhouses, baking soda and vinegar. These two common household items have incredible chemical properties that make them super versatile. Baking soda, or sodium bicarbonate, is a mild alkali that can neutralize acids and break down proteins, making it great for cleaning. Vinegar, which is acetic acid, is an acid that can dissolve mineral deposits, kill some bacteria, and cut through grease. When combined, baking soda and vinegar create a chemical reaction that releases carbon dioxide gas, which you can see as bubbles. This reaction can help dislodge dirt and grime, making it easier to clean surfaces. Section 4. Toiletries and Personal Care Products Moving on to personal care products, shampoo, toothpaste, deodorant, they're all packed with chemistry. Let's break it down. Shampoos contain surfactants similar to those in cleaning products, which help to remove dirt and oils from your hair. They also contain conditioners to smooth and soften hair, and sometimes even pH balancers to keep your scalp healthy. Toothpaste typically contains fluoride to strengthen tooth enamel and prevent cavities, as well as abrasives like silica to help scrub away plaque. Some also have antibacterial agents to help fight gum disease. Deodorants and antiperspirants use chemicals like aluminum compounds to temporarily block sweat glands, reducing perspiration. Deodorants also contain antibacterial agents to reduce the bacteria that cause odor. So, the next time you wash your hair, brush your teeth, or freshen up, remember there's a lot of science behind those everyday routines. Section 5. Food Chemistry. Let's not forget about the chemistry in our food. From baking, bread to preserving milk, chemistry plays a crucial role in the foods we eat. Baking bread involves a process called fermentation, where yeast converts sugars into carbon dioxide and alcohol. The carbon dioxide gets trapped in the dough, causing it to rise, while the alcohol evaporates during baking. Milk goes through pasteurization, a process that involves heating the milk to kill harmful bacteria. This simple chemical process extends the shelf life of milk, making it safer to drink. Whether it's baking a cake, brewing coffee, or preserving foods, chemistry is at the heart of culinary arts. Section 6. Safety with Household Chemicals Before we wrap up, it's important to note that while household chemicals are incredibly useful, they can also be dangerous if not used properly. Always follow the instructions on the label, use products in well-ventilated areas, and keep them out of reach of children. Look out for warning labels and be mindful of mixing different chemicals, as some combinations can produce harmful reactions. For example, mixing bleach with ammonia can create toxic gases. Safety first, always. And there you have it, the chemistry behind the everyday products in your home. 
From cleaning supplies to personal care products and even the food we eat, chemistry is all around us, making our lives easier, cleaner, and safer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Fact Fusion Network for more fascinating insights into the world of science and technology. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.